Item number SCP-080, Object Class Euclid. Special Containment Procedures SCP-080 is to be contained in a 4 meter by 4 meter room with a smaller antechamber located on the south wall to provide researchers with access. On the north wall, an observation room is to be connected overlooking the main room through a window with thick blackout curtains that release only when the door to the observation room is closed. No attempt should be made to remove SCP-080 from this enclosure at any time. No more than one 7 watt incandescent light bulb is to be illuminated in the main room at any time. Absolutely no devices capable of producing light should be brought into the room. Under no circumstances should anything be brought into SCP-080's containment room that has the ability to shroud, conceal, or otherwise hide SCP-080. Failure to adhere to this will result in disciplinary action. Description It is unknown if SCP-080 is a physical mass or body. So all attempts to interact with it physically have failed and have been met with adverse effects. See Experiment Log 082. Researchers and personnel have described seeing SCP-080 as various shadows and humanoid effigies, with the only common attribute being two smoking eyes. It has come to attention of researchers that SCP-080 induces uncontrollable drowsiness upon anyone entering its chamber. After approximately 30 minutes, any person observing it will be forced into REM sleep and may suffer irreversible psychological damage. This effect occurs even if SCP-080 is being observed from a separate room. See Incident 081. If at any time SCP-080 finds a way to hide itself, such as in a cupboard, under a bed, covered in a sheet, etc., it will disappear entirely. Additionally, if any light enters SCP-080's containment room with a greater luminescence than that produced by standard children's nightlight, SCP-080 will instantly vanish. Both of these events are considered a containment breach and any personnel responsible for this will be severely reprimanded and possibly reassigned. For all inquiries regarding the origin of SCP-080 and its procurement by the Foundation, please see attached redacted. Addendum 080A On Beep, 20 Beep, Dr. Beep and his immediate staff have begun complaining of increasingly stressful dreams. As he had the most interaction with SCP-080 thus far, it has been theorized that SCP-080 is somehow capable of some kind of mimetic effect on nearby personnel, even if not being directly observed. Addendum 080B As of Beep, 20 Beep, following Dr. Beep's recent suicide, all personnel located in SCP-080 sector are to keep dream journals and are to inform psych psychologists if dreams became increasingly violent or nightmarish in nature. Addendum 080C All staff are reminded that the blackout curtains in the observation room are not released if the door is not closed and that exposure time should not exceed 30 minutes for any reason. See Incident 081. Addendum 080D It has come to the attention of senior research staff that some researchers are unable to see SCP-080 and may be entirely immune to its effects. Any personnel that thinks they are incapable of perceiving SCP-080, please report to Dr. Peep for mandatory testing. Addendum 080E It has been suggested following incident 081 that a trusty personnel be fed to SCP-080 once per month in order to neutralize SCP-080's effect on the mental health of on-site personnel. Approved. Incident 081 On Beep 20 Beep, a planned observation was conducted by two senior researchers. The researchers entered the observation room and the blackout curtains were released, 
Believing the room to be safely shielded from SCP-08 effects, as it had in the past, the researchers began observing SCP-080 approximately 40 minutes after observation began. Both researchers suddenly fell asleep. Upon their retrieval, they were expunged. It should be noted that following this incident, all on-site personnel had had reported suffering nightmares and feelings of unease, had a good night's sleep, and were generally in a more pleasant mood the following day. Note: All personnel are requested to stop referring to SCP-080 as the Boogeyman, Dr. Beep. Experiment Log 082 Experiment A Date Beep 20 Beep Subject D081 Male 19 years old Procedure Subject was sent into room with SCP-080 Details Subject entered room containing SCP-080 at 1426 Begin log D081 Do you see anything? No, it's pitch black in here Subject is silent for several minutes. Do you just let something in here? It feels like something's watching me. No, D081. We did not let anything into the room. What the frig is that? What the frig is that? D081 is seen tripping and falling to the floor. What do you see? This giant blackness. Like someone just standing in the corner. Oh god, it's talking right under me. Let me out! D-081 proceeds to pound on the door, leading into the antechamber. It's looking at you. Please describe its physical appearance. I don't know! Oh god, let me out! I don't want to be here dear! D-081 starts whimpering. Tell me what it looks like, D-081. Then we can let you out. It looks like a faker. Hunch in the corner. Is it a human? It's too big to be a human! No. It's still looking at me, Doc. Still staring. Move closer to it. D-081 proceeds to move to the corner of the room, obviously experiencing difficulty staying on his feet. Its eyes look like vapor, just tearing at me, like it wants me to do some... D-081 falls to the floor again. D-081, can you hear me? Subject is unresponsive for the next five minutes. End log 1458. Subject could suddenly collapse. Subsequently, no remains of D081 were found, and it is assumed SCP 080 consumed D081. Experiment B Date Beep 20 Beep Subject D082 Female 30 years old. Procedure. Subject was sent into room with SCP-080 with intent to physically interact with SCP-080. Details. Subject entered room containing SCP-080 at 1735 under instruction of Dr. Beep. Begin log. Tell me what you see. I don't see jack crap. Why is it so dark in here? After several minutes. Holy crap! What is that? It's just standing in the middle of the room. Describe what you see. It's just standing in the middle of the room. I can make out two eyes, I guess. Can you please approach it and let us know if anything changes? I feel drowsy. Did you slip me something or what? Reach out and touch it. Tell me what you feel. You want me to touch that thing. Yes, please proceed. After a few minutes of argument, it is presumed that D-082 proceeds to touch SCP-080. At this time, the subject becomes unresponsive. End law. 1812. Subject was found asleep in the corner of SCP-080's containment room. Subject appeared to suffer no physical harm during experiment. Subject was interviewed after medical staff deemed D-082 to be in good physical health. See attached interview log 081. Experiment C. Date. Beep. 20 beep. Subject. D-083. Male. 
24 years old. Procedure, subject was sent into room with SCP-080, having been given a powerful amphetamine. Upon entering the room, subject was advised to tell researchers what he saw. Subject describes a shadow-like figure in the center of the room. Subject was informed to stand still and inform researchers of any changes. Ten minutes into the experiment, Subject began yawning and became noticeably frightened. Subject became uncooperative and attempted to escape the containment room. Upon failing to escape, Subject announced an intent to harm SCP-080 and presumably attempt to attack it. Upon doing so, Subject immediately collapsed. D-O-83's body was recovered from SCP-O-80's containment room soon afterwards, having apparently suffered a major heart attack. Upon collecting D-O-83's body, researchers described an intense feeling of unease, a feeling of being watched, as well as a more acute awareness of SCP-O-80's presence in the room. Interviewed D-082 Interviewer Dr. Beep Forward, D-082 was interviewed following an inconclusive experiment involving SCP-080. Where the subject was secured in the room with SCP-080 for 37 minutes. Begin log. Please describe what you remember from the experiment. Dr. Peep later notes that D-082 had a spaced out expression in tone of voice. You told me to walk over to it and touch it. I didn't want to. I didn't. What happened when you touch it? When I touch it? Have you seen that thing? Touch it! I couldn't move. It was staring at me. And I just couldn't move. You didn't respond for several minutes. What were you doing? D-082 becoming increasingly agitated. It just stared at me. I couldn't move. I couldn't breathe. <sighs> Calm down, D-082. Take a deep breath. Do you remember falling asleep? It just stared, stared, not moving, but I felt something. It was on the floor and they were all over me. <laughs> the O82 begins to scream and up he gets to the feet. No, you're trying to get me back to that thing. I won't go back. You can't make me go back in there. The O82 launches at Dr. Beep is subsequently terminated. End log.